1,500 metres to go for Brent Van Moor. 16 seconds, can he do it? Oh, another big crash. Oh. Oh. That was not good day. Geraint uh... Thomas has crashed. And Roglic is down, and that's a terrible moment for him. Oh, another big crash. Tadej Pogacar there. Yeah, uh, it was really hectic. Buani is there. Who's going to strike first? Mali oh! Big crash by Caleb Ewan tied up with Peter Sagan there. And it is going to be on the line. Tim Malia. There was more drama on stage three of the Tour de France. High speed, crashes, dashed hopes. Thomas, Roglic and Pogacar all lost time, while sprint favourite Caleb Ewan is out with a broken collarbone. The riders staged a protest today, briefly stepping off their bikes after kilometre zero. They were calling for a discussion involving all stakeholders, the UCI, organisers, teams and riders about race safety. Today's stage is the fourth and final chapter in Brittany before we head east across the country. 150 kilometers between Rudon and Fougere without a single categorized climb. Another opportunity for the sprinters to stretch their legs. Once the riders got underway, it didn't take long for a breakaway to form. Two men going up the road and quickly getting a gap of over two minutes. Pierre-Luc Perrichon from Cofidis, a team who've been in the breakaway every day since the start of this tour. And Brent Van Moor from Lotto Soudal. We can expect them to look lively in the breaks after their leader, Caleb Ewan, crashed out yesterday. Well, Van Moor certainly enjoys going on the attack. He's been described as the new Thomas de Gent by de Gent himself. He impressed on the Dauphiné with a solo victory on stage one, but maybe a bit of a tough ask to go all the way here. The sprint teams pulling in the peloton. Groupama FDJ for Arno Dumas, Alpacin Fenix for Jasper Philipson, and to Koenig Quickstep for Mark Cavendish. Race leader Mathieu van der Poel set to play lead out man once again as the peloton slowly but surely closed the gap on the escapees. Their advantage down to under two minutes with 100k still to go. There wasn't a great deal to report until the intermediate sprint in Vitre, just 36 kilometers from the finish line, a dress rehearsal for the fast men. On the wheel of Peter Sagan, Sagan leaning on Michael Matthews, shoulder to shoulder, here comes Mark Cavendish. The speed of Cavendish as he moves his way up on the outside, as Luca Metgetz looks around, Connor Swift trying to lead out Nasser Buani. Look at Mark Cavendish go. Cavendish is gonna go for this sprint for the green jersey, and Cavendish takes it ahead of Buani and Michael Matthews. Last time we were in Fugere, I won in 2015, and that was with this same team. It was my last Tour de France stage win for, uh, hopefully it can be, try and be my first again. So. We're all set up for the bunch sprint then, but was there going to be a twist in the tail? Just one two in each other, these two riders. Brent Van Moy is pushing it now. Oh, it looks like he's cracked him. He has cracked him, 42 seconds. Don't be surprised about this rider disappearing up the road and causing the peloton a huge problem. He's done this before. He did it at the end of a 177 kilometer breakaway in the Dauphiné and the peloton never saw him again. Well, Brent Van Moor giving it absolutely everything, but the sprint teams were closing in. Still a handful of seconds for the Belgian as he attacked the final kilometers. 1,500 metres to go for Brent Van Moor. 16 seconds, can he do it? This is going to go down to the line. Brent Van Moor is giving it 
absolutely everything on the front. He's rocking and rolling. There's a mad dash for position at the front of the peloton. Oh. No one wants to take over the chase. 14 seconds, Alaphilippe, the green jersey, comes to the front to try and put Mark Cavendish in position for what would be a dream win, and it would take the dreams of Brent Van Moor away. We're going to go under the red kite, we're going to see the time check, and we're going to get an idea of whether this 23-year-old Belgian can hold on. He's still there. One kilometre to go. This is time trial for your life. Go for the stage win. It's very fast from this point on until 200 metres out. It's a sweeping right-hand corner here after a kilometre to go, and then a sweeping left where he'll be able to taste the finish line. He can almost see the gantry. Brett Van Moor out of the saddle. Can he hold on for this stage win? 700 metres to go for this young Belgian in his debut Tour de France. Is it going to be dreams for him, or are they going to be shattered by the sprinters? The sprinters come round the corner behind him he looks behind can he get there can he take the win out the saddle 400 meters to go 350 meters to go go Brent give it everything go for the stage win 62 kilometers to go is he going to be caught on the line 200 meters to go Brent Van Moor he's caught on the line Jasper Philipson goes he goes for the stage win Cavendish is there Case Bowl is there who's going to win in Fougere is it going to be Cavendish? Cavendish takes the stage! Wow! I don't know what to say, man. Like, just being here is special enough, you know? I didn't think I'd ever get to come back to this race. And then you just see what a team this is, you know. You've got the green jersey, the world champion, you know, I believe. He just comes just to get the final pull to try and catch the, the breakaway, you know. Putting everything in, you know. Like, so many people didn't believe in me, you know. And these guys do. What a moment for Mark Cavendish, his first Tour de France stage win in five years. The Manx missile doubling up in Fougere, where he won with quick step back in 2015. And what a team performance it was to bring back Brent Van Moor. You have to feel for the young Belgian. Cavendish moving on to 31 Tour stage wins. He's now three short of Eddie Merckx's all-time record. Mathieu van der Poel stays in the yellow jersey for a third day, and there should be a fascinating battle as he tries to keep hold of it in tomorrow's time trial. Cavendish nicks the green jersey off his teammate Alaphilippe. There should be no hard feelings, while Edith Skelling remains our best climber, and Tali Pogacar is still the best young rider. But today was all about one man. Cav is back. <laughs>